Hi, my name is Dave Gifford, and the Subsume plugin has landed, and I'm going to walk you through it. The Subsume plugin for TiddlyWiki. Uh, it's easier just to show you rather than to explain it, so let me just go ahead and start that. First, I'm going to create some uh, content, apples, and peaches. And I'm going to select each one and click the Subs or Subsume button which wraps that in, wraps each one in the subsume macro. I could also do it the other way around. I could click on the subsume macro and then uh, add the title as well. Now, what does that do? Uh, that creates links to each of these tiddlers, which don't exist yet, and also sliders so that uh, you can either open the tiddler and go to that tiddler or you can read the contents of that tiddler in place. Let's go ahead and add a little content to apples. Apples are yummy. And I'm going to save that. Now if I click on the slider, you'll see that the content of the apples tiddler is found under that slider. Um, the Another thing that you can do with uh, this is nest the uh, I don't know anything about apples so please don't uh, uh, make fun of me I'm gonna have uh, yellow apples and I'm gonna go ahead and sub that and then I'm going to uh, go to yellow apples and uh, put uh, granny apples and then I'm going to go into Granny Apples and put uh, Yummy. So now I'm going to go way back up to the first tiddler. I'm going to open the slider for apples, and you'll see yellow apples. I'm going to open the slider for yellow apples, you see Granny Apples. And when you open up Granny Apples, you see Yummy. So you can see uh, that uh, by nesting the subsumes, I get basically a nested outline or table of contents. Uh, and uh, so basically, it, I turn TiddlyWiki into an outliner similar to DynaList or Workflowy. Uh, another thing that we can do is excise text and turn that into a subsume as well. So let's say I have some uh, con content, <laughs> spell today. Uh, content and more content, <clears throat> but I decide that uh, part of this shouldn't be in this tiddler. Rather, it should have its own tiddler and have a subsume here pointing to that tiddler. So I'm going to click the excise button. I'm going to give it a name, that tiddler. I'm going to change the drop down to macro because uh, subsume is a macro. Then I'm going to change from translink to subsume. I believe those kind of stay put once you do it once. Now I have a subsume macro around the tiddler that will be called that tiddler. And uh, so, yeah, you can create subsumes that way. The other thing that you can do is relink and rename. Uh, let's say that uh, I've got that tiddler. And I don't like that name, so I'm going to call it the other tiddler. Now you can see the relink instruction comes up, and I click on that. And if we go back up to uh, the new tiddler one, you'll see that that has changed to the other tiddler. So, yeah, we've covered creating and using the subsume. We've covered excising, and we've covered relinking. The only other thing to look at is formatting. There's one issue. If you, uh, if you have subsume macros, each one on a separate line, uh, they appear double-spaced when you look at them in view mode. If you'd like them to be single-spaced, you can put them all on the same line and that makes them more single space, which I find more appealing visually. Um, one other thing I can show you is that we also have a way to do autocomplete that creates subsumes instead of links. 
and it's with uh, three diagonal marks. And I'm going to pick Granny Apples. There's Granny Apples. And look, I hit enter, and it put a subsume macro around Granny Apples. So there you go. Uh, there, is, there will be a link to the subsume plugin in the description on the YouTube page. And I'm going to put this video also on the, uh, the demo page for the subsume plugin. Blessings to you, and I hope you enjoy using this uh, macro, this plugin.